in the earlier session we have discussed about how to construct the hamming code for 4 bit of data in this practical we are going to find out the error in the hamming code that we have generated in the earlier session as we know that 7 bit of hamming code has the combination of information and the information bit and the parity bits in the 7 bit of hamming code there will be 4 data bits d7 d6 d5 and d3 and 3 parity bit c3 c2 and c1 now in this practical we are going to find out whether the error has occurred or not in the received bit that we can find out with the help of this formula as we have discussed in the earlier session this r1 will be depend upon the parity of the 1 3 5 and 7th bit whereas r2 will have the uh, combination of 2, 3, 6 and 7 bits and R4 will have the combination of 4, 5, 6 and 7 so what we are going to do we are going to implement this circuit using the multi sim for this uh, in what we are going to do we are going to find out this C3, C2, C1 with the above mentioned combination and if we get this C3, C2, C1 is equal to 0 we will say that there is no error in the received bit if we will get any non-zero element for example if we are getting 110 which will indicate that there is the error in the bit position of the 6th that is decimal value of your 110 ok so this is the circuit that is given in your manual we are going to implement this circuit uh, with the multi-sim software now moving towards the multi-sim software so over here I have designed the circuit with the 4 bit of uh, 4 input XOR gate so this XOR1 will give the output of C1 whereas XOR4 uh, this second XOR will give the output of C2 and XOR3 will give you the output of C3 now coming towards the manual there they have given the example for that we have to check whether error has occurred uh, or not in the received bit the received bit is triple one zero one triple one zero one zero one means d7 is now we will make this necessary changes in our multi sim software this is your d7 we have to make it 1 d6 d6 as 1 d5 as 1 d4 as 0 that is your parity bit p4 0 then d3 1 uh, p2 that is 0 and p1 that is 1 now over here we are getting the C2 on and C3 on means we are getting the combination like C1, C2 and C3 that is 0, 1, 1, 1. Our MSB is 1, 1, 0 means we are getting the error at the 6th position. 6th position means our bit is D p1 p2 p3 p1 p2 d3 p4 p5 d6 d6 now we will make the changes in your d6 bit if we change the d6 from 1 to 0 we should get the 0 as the code generated at the receiver side as i said if you get the 0 0 at the receiver side it indicates that there is no error but as we have received 110 we have error at the 6th position means that position has got error okay. so you can check your manual any other data is required you can make the necessary changes and you can complete the table okay. over here you can assume any data you can assume any data and you can find out whether any error is there or not and if any error occurs you can alter the bit position and you can get the corrected data also 
this we can we are doing at the one bit parity error correction method for multiple errors this hamming code will not work burst of errors will not be uh, detected by the hamming code that is our conclusion hamming code is used for single bit error correction method thank you